Uh, yes, hello, and uh, welcome to our uh, exclusive review of uh, Donkey Kong Country 3, uh, Dixie's Paradise, what was it called? Who cares? It's a f***ing video game. Anyway, oops, I said a swear. Naughty, naughty. Oh no. Oh dearie me. Your editors will have a word. Oh, gee. Don't worry. I'll oh no, it. that's religious propaganda. Oh, oh, it's all gone to hell. I'm, oh, more religion. Oh. I'll just bleep those out in post, don't worry. Anyhow, uh, so we are currently naming our file. Uh, I guess I'm going to be the only one playing, uh, currently. Um, You're the best and, dad. Uh, oh no. Uh, I'm going to name this, uh, file, uh, Lana, because the, uh, the, the main character is a girl monkey, and, uh, Lana is the name of that harlot bitch who broke my heart in high school. <laughs> and I just, I never quite got over that. And that's why I became a video game reviewer. <laughs> anyway, here's, uh, Wrinkly Kong. Uh, she, uh, uh, I guess she helps you save your game. Um... Really progressive to include an elderly character like that. Oh yes, especially uh, after uh, you know Cookie Clicker uh, took uh, the, the the elderly in gaming and uh, turned them into this 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 joke and this uh, uh, this weird abomination, these horrible monsters and uh, um. It's, it's just and, it's and, and then there was the gaming grandma Abs absolutely uh, disgusting um, so oh uh, it seems I finally have control of the game um, in which case uh, I suppose here we are uh, swimming around uh, just you know as 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 you do in uh, games of this era where uh, it reminds me of Gone Home a lot. Just an exploration simulator. Oh yes, just uh, a very, a very nice, calm exploration. Just uh, a, a girl on her own, you know? Just uh... And you're exploring a river, just like that arcade classic, Tubin. Everyone loved playing that game. Unfortunately, we don't have any soda cans to throw here, so... Might have to find a couple just lying I, around. I'm sorry, I've I've never played a video game before. I don't understand what that reference is. Oh, I'm so, I'm sorry. I I, so I, I just got this job because I I had nowhere else to go in life, and I I wanted to uh you know I, I wanted to be a, a writer at a at a newspaper corporation, and uh, I'm Ted from accounting. Yes, this is uh, this is Ted. Uh, he's the only one who would agree to uh, this this uh, to to help with this review. Um, well, thank you, Ted, for donating I, your time and energy to this I, uh, project. Well, I seem to be back at uh, Wrinkly's. I'm making uh, six figures either way. Oh, it's uh, the B button apparently to uh, enter the cave, and uh, as you see, here is a. Uh, Here's Wrinkly. She is also uh, playing a video game. It's uh, it's quite a, a meta narrative there. Truly, it's, uh, truly, absolutely. Um, uh, oh, uh, cranky and swanky. I don't know what those are. Uh, I assume maybe they're uh, characters in the game, but I, uh, um, they both end in Y. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's uh, like the days in in the week. All of the monkeys ah. apparently end in Y. It's uh, very, uh, a very very spiritual in in nature. And um, well, Dixie doesn't. But do you think that was just a typo in the game? They could have. Oh, maybe. It. Uh, probably it was uh. Uh, her choice to stand out as a empowered female that uh, she would uh, take IE instead of Y 
in uh um there's there's a bear fella here uh, i believe this is a uh, banjo from uh another popular rare game uh i don't um he seems to want a lot of money for these these items uh I, d I don't have any any of these coins. No, notice that he's offering uh, the girl a mirror. How sexist is that? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, this this game is is horribly, horribly uh, sexist, and um, it's just it's just an, an abomination, truly. I I'm not sure how to leave. Um, Perhaps this is a simulator of retail America. Just currently stuck, just forever in a loop, oh, trying yes. to leave the store of life. And all you can do is is buy. Oh, apparently if you hit the right button, you leave the store automatically. Good to know. That's yeah. it's a very. It's, it's, it didn't say that anywhere, um, so I don't, I don't know how I was supposed to know that. Video games, they, they, of this era, they never, they never tell you anything, and it's, it's just absolutely, absolutely horrible. Uh, speaking of sexism, here we have the, uh, dude bro, uh, Kong, and he has, uh, just walked up and started harassing this this poor girl with his his burly muscles and backwards hat and of course uh, as is this this horrible sexism he is offering her a boat and a baby he has he has forced the baby onto this poor this poor girl it's just assuming that she has the capability to take care of of this baby it's and it's so it's something that she never asked for it's 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 an amazing allegory for the the r word that shall not be ever mentioned um it's it's really just all a great big metaphor still it's awfully progressive of them to include a baby playable character oh yes yeah. i should say it is very progressive. Uh, there is, there is a baby in uh, playable as in this game, um, and uh, you know, unlike other video games of this uh, of this era, where of course babies were just treated as sidekicks and props to the main character. Here we finally have a playable baby, unlike games like Yoshi's Island, which, of course, the baby is just this this thing to be saved by the main character, who is a, a dinosaur, of all things. I mean, dinosaurs in media getting representation before the babies. But I've, I just, I'm still taking I just points can't. off because they're putting the baby in danger. Oh it's, yes, yes, absolutely. Unacceptable. It's 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 deplorable the situations in which this baby ends up in. Um, I'm not certain how to leave the boat. I th I believe I believe this is the first stage, but. Uh, I'll, I'll get this in a moment. Uh, oh, oh. oh, there we go. Of course. I understand. Lakeside okay. Limbo. And here we find, have uh, the first stage of the game, of course. Of course. Uh, here we are. Uh, of course, uh, as stereotypical of monkeys, uh, they force you to collect bananas in this game, and uh, this appears to be the the first enemy. Um, 
I'm, uh, I'm not sure uh, how oh. to overcome this uh, obstacle. Oh. Uh, it seems that uh, the the girl, as per stereotype, cannot uh, defeat the mice, and uh, she ran away scared. Uh, but the baby is apparently quite strong and uh, capable of handling himself. Uh, perhaps not. Um, throws a tantrum. You're putting this baby in danger. You understand that? That's that. That was clearly a a cry for help. And just, it's it's sickening. It's absolutely sickening. Absolutely these, deplorable. These video games are absolutely deplorable. Oh, oh, oh. That makes sense. Here we see the baby is finally, he, he's able to enjoy himself now that he is free of, of the confines, the uh, um, but of course he apparently hurts himself. And his, he, he has no one now to look out for him, and his now clothes, that Dixie is gone. The state of his clothes, they barely they fit. fit. How no. sad is that? This it is, plight. it is absolutely, just absolutely terrible i'm going to recommend that everyone listening to us donate to your local shelter make sure that you get better fitting clothes for our animals because that is something that they need absolutely absolutely also the susan g common could use some donations too yes yes uh susan g common a very uh well known and um a, a very strong, empowered woman. She, she, but she needs your help. She does. Um, seems to be a sound. Um, I can't, I can't seem to grab onto this ledge. Uh, See, that's the game's fault for not telling you how to do this. It's, uh, there's no, there's no tutorial text, um, <sighs> the games of this era were just very, very poorly designed, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm not certain, this, this is, this is just, it's so difficult, absolutely, the, the Dark Souls, of of uh, its era. I think we, I think we might be perhaps. Um, if I could figure out how to grab this barrel, I might be able to put it here, perhaps, and use that to climb up. But none of uh, none of my four buttons seem to do anything um shoot hmm well this is a puzzle so um let's let's talk about the uh of course the graphics um uh, the the background beautifully painted by bob ross himself or or thomas kincaid don't forget him also very good Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course. Um, here's, uh, the water. Um, it seems to be bubbling, which is unusual, I think, for water. Um, it kind of reminds me of soda when you think about it. Ah, uh, yes, the, uh, the water is clearly very toxic, and it's not safe at all for a baby to be near, unsupervised. Um... Um, oh, oh, uh, I just had a thought. Oh? Oh, yes, of course. It was so simple the whole time. Um, oh, jeez. Oh. That scary man has harmed that poor little baby. I'm not sure what could have been done. Um, clearly just a, a metaphor and, uh, allegory for uh 
uh, men's violence towards uh, children and uh, women. Absolutely despicable. Absolutely. Uh, this this game is quite brave for um, for for attempting to to tell such such a a tale. Um, it it is quite quite difficult. I I think I'm gonna cry. It it is quite beautiful. It is absolutely absolutely stunning and and. Uh, Sh Shigeru Miyamoto clearly very, very uh, uninvolved in this project because he is a huge racist, a sexist, a bigot, and um, just just not a very nice person. Although I I I would not subscribe to him on Twitter. Although I will compliment Hinorobu Sakugachi for this game soundtrack. Oh, okay. Seems to have done a very good job composing everything. Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, um, ab absolutely. It it really it really uh, helps to alleviate my my stress uh, while playing this game. Uh, not not stress from from uh, any sort of anger or or frustration with the game because the game is clearly. Uh, very well designed, and uh, it's 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 simply beautiful and so so rich. Uh, uh, is is personal stress because one of uh, my my uncles had owned a pet chimp uh, when I was a child, and uh, um, it. It was, I mean, it was an adorable little, uh, monkey fellow, and, uh, he simply, um, he, he would spend most of his time in his cage, but he, he just, uh, he would stare at you with these, these beady little eyes, just absolutely horrifying, just staring so lifeless and cold but I, I remember one day the, the cage was unlocked and he got out and it was it was so dreadful so much screaming I remember the, the scratches on my on my face and just the howling of the the little monkey, horrible, horrible little monkey. Horrible little monkey. Before, not to interrupt, but you did yes. also miss the uh, allegations of the glass ceiling with that lizard with its wall you couldn't pass through. Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, it, it seemed to have been uh, impeding my path. Uh, I was not sure how to overcome such an obstacle. Uh, just, just a metaphor for the things that trap us in our lives. Absolutely. The people that try and keep us down. Absolutely. Uh, you can tell, uh, especially from his, his, uh, parent shield and, um, that helmet is, uh, uh, clearly a, a metaphor for the, the white knights, the, the white knights of the patriarchy that, that attempt to, to keep us from, from progressing in life. Again, a very, very brave game for for bringing us this this tale uh, of, of of strife. Abs absolutely, absolutely brave. But is it right for a game to portray babies engaging in violence? I uh, I'm not certain. Um, 
as 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 we can see here, uh, the baby has been put in his crib, uh, where he belongs. Is is a safe crib, though he appears to be very sad. It's it's truly for the best, which is also a a incredible metaphor for life itself uh, the 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 struggle of of one's very very being uh bringing bringing yourself to 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 confine oneself within one's home despite uh needing needing to leave wanting to leave and to to be a part of, of society, but uh, una unable. It, for for the home is truly the the only place that is that is safe in today's crazy rat race of a world with with uh, guns and and presidents and uh, the the. This <laughs> is no laughing matter, sir. I'm sorry, that was quite Pres inappropriate. Presidents are very real. They are they are a real thing that is that is in our world and currently uh, uh, very dangerous and and having a, an an effect on our lives. And I, it's a real threat to our democracy. Yes, having having a president is a threat to democracy. Absolutely. I absolutely agree with that statement. I I don't believe that our our forefathers that and and our foremothers, let's let's Yes, right, correct. I don't believe that they wanted us George Washington did not want us to live in a world of presidents and 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 gun rights and well that's why George Washington himself wrote about the divine right of kings because George Washington was a strong believer in kings oh yes and and as we know he he was in fact uh, descended of kings himself uh, as as we all are, truly. Um, for for you know we we all uh, come from from Mother Egypt and uh, where where of course uh, not to get religious again, but as as Jesus himself originated. And, and Moses, and, uh, God was from Egypt. Not, not to interrupt, but can you stop drowning that baby? I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not certain how to get the baby out. I, uh, this is I, can, I can bring him back to the top for air, but I'm not certain how to leave. Perhaps this is a reference to, uh, with the water, it might be in biotic fluid, reference to being oh, yes. born, being oh, yes. created. The, and, and the baby obviously being a, oh, a metaphor for uh, a baby. This is just a, a warning to all mothers out there not to leave your children in the tub, because they could drown. Uh, if, yes, if, if you're yes, a mother listening to this, please watch your children while they're taking yes, a bath. Yes, watch your children bathe. Be careful. You shouldn't tell women what to do, though. Oh, oh, no, oh excuse absolutely. me. No, that's let's 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 me. also not forget about the uh, the stay-at-home fathers, of course. Right. Fathers should also watch your children bathe. Um, 
N. <laughs> Is that a reference to the N word, perhaps? Oh. That's that's so. That's that's so absolutely long. disgusting. So oh. Um, this, this game is is quite quite brave for trying to uh to challenge the the use of the N word by the uh the the, the president. What is that sign trying to tell us? I'm I'm not certain. Um, uh, oh, oh yes, of course, uh, that appears to be an elephant on the sign, uh, no, it, it is a, uh, sign clearly depicting, uh, a slash through an elephant, like a no smoking sign, but for elephants, no elephants, no Democrats, for as we know, Democrats are, in fact, represented by an elephant. Right. And obviously this sign was placed here by alt writers that um, are, are trying to abolish uh, democracy. Which, That's true. They're, they're horrible people. Which, as we know, democracy is is the only thing holding our our country together in this in this time of strife with with death and 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 death and racism, sexism, homophobia. Death. Transphobia, death, um, hate crimes, hate crimes, uh, um, uh, uh, crimes that result in death, murders, and and kills, and death, and and that that. That man I heard on the radio the other day, I believe his name is Christopher Puth. Absolutely, absolutely dreadful. A dreadful time for our for our country. We made it. it is uh yes, and uh the the end of the stage, um seems to just end here uh, I don't understand how to finish the stage uh, it seems that I was rewarded with uh, bananas um, and look which is is clearly just just a, a overall metaphor for uh, monkeys kept in a zoo that are that are forced to go through so many obstacles and their only reward is a banana. That's that's very very powerful message. Absolutely tragic though. I really am gonna cry. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go share this footage with my personal friend Kurt Eichenwald. Where are you going? Where? He's left. He, he, he had to go. Our intern Jeffrey has simply left. He's this is this is un, unprecedented behavior. Absolutely unacceptable. I am I am greatly offended that he would leave in this in this moment. This beautiful game. This beautiful. Beautiful metaphor for for society and and empowering babies to to leave and to just walk away in our time of need, which is a fantastic metaphor for my mother abandoning me as a child and never coming back. 
So I applaud him for that message, but I would, I, I, I am highly offended and he will not work in this company again. I will, I will block him on Twitter and, and oust him as the racist, bigoted, anti-baby fascist that he is. And I can't keep going, guys. <laughs> I was just about to say, you need to pay somebody to dox him. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. Man, so... You carried that, man. I'm, I'm gonna admit that right now. I, thank I you, thank I you. I, I just... couldn't. I was dying at that time. I could I, I had to keep really going. I, I just had to keep talking about stupid crap. And I I tried my damnedest. Uh, you, fucking, you fucking did good. It's cool. Don't worry about but, it. But, uh... <sighs> yeah. I guess to, to explain to the audience, I had a dumb idea a while ago. Oh, this was the April Fool's episode, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the real first episode of DKC3 is coming two days, I guess, yeah, from now. a couple days. It's sometime, very soon. Um, I'm going to just play the stage while I talk, I guess. <laughs> uh, Go for it. You deserve it. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little uh, preview of things to come, I guess. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, we already recorded the first episode. I wasn't sure how exactly this was going to go, but... Uh... Whew, several months ago, I had a dumb idea for, like, a special way to do a playthrough of a game. <laughs> and, uh, I guess to example, I, I called it the Polyplay. After Polygon, because they were a big meme at the time. Mm -hmm. The idea is you're only you're limited to certain buttons. In this game, I decided we were doing left, right, and B. Obviously, I played it up a little bit extra, but the idea is you have to stop before any action. You're not allowed to move while doing other things, so you have to jump straight up most of the time. Um... No runs. No running. And as far as commentary, we were forced to talk about really inane and just silly crap. Because <laughs> I decided this would also be our April Fool's episode. You know what? It's pretty accurate representation of yeah. everything, really. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all just a it's it's a well written metaphor. Fuck. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely beautiful and uh, progressive for its time. Fucking hell! I just... see, see, folks, when you when you concentrate, you too can be a hack fraud like the people at Polygon. And <laughs> us. And us. <laughs> oh man! I'm sorry, I was just dying. <laughs> so it's really. Hard. It was. <laughs> it was some shit. Oh, fucking hell. Well, uh, that was fun. Wait, yeah. you guys aren't journalists? <laughs> Listen, we have a YouTube channel with, what, five, six hundred subscribers? We're journalists. We're as much journalists as anyone else in the fucking world. Sure. What keeping is that? Have I been doing? <laughs> hey, man, that's not cool. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting, <laughs> racist, bigoted. And, and furthermore, I'm just triggered. <laughs> I don't know. I hope no one's offended by any of this. No one's like a friggin' polygon apologist, but just... I mean... It's it, it's fun to just take the crap out of people sometimes, yeah. you know? I mean, they yeah. do do some good work here and there. Just... Oh, yeah. No one is without faults, but... Every now and then you see something like that Cuphead playthrough and it inspires you. <laughs> it inspires you to just take the piss. <laughs> oh my fucking gosh. Right? Oh man. Well. Oh. 
I'm gonna just do this because we missed it on the next episode. <laughs> but I love shit like that. Yeah, no, that's, that's fucking cool, man. Yeah. Do they do the same thing it does in the last game, which is, oh look, you, you collected some coins. Congrats. I don't remember. I don't think Cranky's even in this game anywhere. Oh. Did he that die? old fraud. <laughs> Did he what? die? No. He was in the Wii U version. Oh. Yeah, he's still around. He's still alive. Okay, good. I, I would Do been... you think Nintendo will honestly let their characters literally die? Wrinkly died. Oh. She, like, comes back as a ghost, but Wrinkly's dead. Oh. Well, on that depressing note. <laughs> I'm Dean. He's Dean. <laughs> that's Donnie. I'm Donnie. And that's I'm Ted from accounting. And that's Ted from accounting. And <laughs> good night, everyone. Good night.